you on. All right, as uh, we go down here, we've got it separated between our fifth and sixth grade. It'll be down one wing, along with what we call exploratories, art, music, library, computers, uh, industrial technology, and ag. They'll be down this first hallway here. That way we can keep our kids separated. Uh, these kids, it's kind of a good transition if you take a look down. On the left, we have our fifth grade, right, sixth grade, these first four classroom exploratories. Uh, it's good transition. Fifth graders will stay in their classroom all day. Sixth grade, they'll change twice with the uh, teachers, teaching two different subjects. And then the seventh grade, they'll switch just like a regular middle school or high school student would. Okay. Uh, as we get down here, I'll kind of show you a, a classroom setup of how we have it. Right here on the right, this is Mrs. York. She's going to be a sixth grade teacher. But as you can see, we've got the lockers in the back for the students, um, and they'll get math and health in this classroom, along with the reading block uh, that's required for our elementary school students. We're going to go ahead and offer it for the middle school as well. Great wing, as you can tell, we've got the uh, new LED lighting in all the halls as well. Uh, lockers, big difference here. Lockers around the hall, they're bigger allow for more storage, bigger kids, things like that. Start prepping them for the high school. And then we have our uh, four core competency classes where, like our science room here. There's a great setup. Uh, and then they'll rotate between the four classes. Teachers can come together and uh, collaborate during their team planning period. We do like cross curricular units this year, especially with the election, the Olympics, March Madness, those are all tend to lend themselves well to that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, and then at the end, we've got the eighth grade classes next year. Once these students move up, we'll put in more lockers and uh, really start to take form as a true middle school.